Watch, learn, share. This is Jesus Gomez Digital Painting Tutorial. Welcome back to another awesome episode of Digital Painting Tutorials. My name is Jesus Conde and today we are going to work on the details for the crystals. In the previous episode we worked on the basic coloring for this crystal and in the one before we made a palette and analyzed some reference for it so don't forget to check that out. Ok now so come this, comes the detailing part. Um, let's take what we have and just make it better, make it look better. So I'm going to start by dimming down the line art, like 50% is okay. We want to left it, so it shouldn't look too bright. Actually, let's see if we can get rid of it. But we're gonna have to, in that case, we're gonna have to blend it with the colors. So let's keep all the lockers yeah it's just everything in one layer okay now let's work on that so I created a new layer because I want I want to uh, I don't want to make any mistakes and then don't be able to to repair it quickly because it's a tutorial um, but if you can do it in just all the same layer it will be cool it's a cool way to learn our stuff Okay, so now what we're going to do is just clean everything out. And taking care of the stuff that we didn't have there before, like this little rock in there should, should have something. Should, uh, it should look some way, not just some lines in there. Let's try once the little. You have to do little spotlights, like little um, points of light, because this is, this is half sharp edges, but it isn't completely perfect. So it does need to have some little variations. Look at this. Maybe burn that here. Yeah. And I think we're gonna have we're gonna have to get some flares in here. Let's take this pink color. Look, I'm just doing these strokes. Oh let's do it this way. I'm making one stroke, just one, like this. And I'm going to copy where I think the the flare should should be. This is one spot. Let's put it in another place. Maybe here, where the bright spots are. Something like that could give some. Yeah, make it look cooler.
Maybe we can put something like a, a source light somewhere else in here. Yeah, it looks really cool, so let's keep trying that. I just take that, that darker color from this part. Something dark that wasn't there. Hidden. Okay, so now I'm just making. I need I need some contrast in here. So uh, I just took that color and I'm putting it on this side to make that variation from light to dark. It's always important because. You're making, you're doing something in 2D, but you have to make it look like it's in 3D, it's three dimensional. Another thing that you can do is look it like really far away and see what it is missing something, and try to paint it from that distance. You can see more stuff happening in there. Let's get some black. I'm going to make a new layer. Let's put some black in there to see what happens. See? It looks like with more volume. It's a bit dark, but yeah, it's different. It looks better, right, in my opinion. So, this one that is in the air, maybe it's catching a little bit more of light. Or maybe we can make, mm, we can take this color that have a little bit of green and use it this way. Like if it had some kind of um, light that is kind of getting in there from from the front somehow, and it just catches it. looks cool that in another layer let's make it more colorful let's put some uh, image adjustments hue saturation or control U. let's make that shine a little bit something like that let's see how it looks I think it looks great Actually, maybe I want to make more saturated things here. Hmm, doesn't look bad at all, that green light. Let's get some green in there, let's see how it looks.
Well guys, this is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I want to make a paint over a movie frame, but I cannot decide which of these two frames I want to work on. Please make a vote on the section below, A for Aladdin, B for my neighbor Totoro. I want to thank you for watching and be so supportive. Please use the links in the description to follow me on other pages. Share the videos if you like them or give me a thumbs up, it really helps. Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for new episodes and I invite you to watch my other videos. Have an awesome day everybody and remember to practice a lot.